was reading on your website um, that you started this whole thing and your whole experience with uh, with the project that you're doing now. You started out just doing wood carving. Yeah, I, I grew up on the west coast of Canada, and so um, I became interested in the the native people because they, of course, have lived there for thousands of years, and so their knowledge of the area was is much more extensive than that of the you know the recent immigrants, such as you know myself and my family and people, and so I just thought. Uh, especially from reading their oral traditions, uh, I just became very interested in their perspective and their approach on life, you know, life in general. Um, the thing is that they regard all life forms as being uh, living on an equal level, whereas we, from, for example, the European background, we tend to think of ourselves as humans of being, you know, much higher than nature. And so, as a child, I just found that very interesting that uh, that they had that perspective, and that uh, drew me into the art form. And then from there, I just naturally wanted to start carving the shapes that I saw in museum collections. It's just I, I was just having a, a dialogue with uh, with uh, a guy named Miles Hingston about shamanism, and one of the things that I've noticed when I look into people that are active online and are doing these things is. They all seem to start very early. Um, how how do you explain that you got into something that led you down this path that early? Do, do, do you have any thoughts of that? Do you ever consider why that is? Well, I think it's more a question of, of, of um, at this point in my life, of, of looking back at it. And there's I think there's just a natural human, a human instinct about... Um, wanting to under you know wanting to understand everything which is around you and um the shamanic approach which you know is a glo or is a, and has always been a global phenomenon is something which um anchors the the individual to a true sense of reality and so in in Europe of course the you know the christian catholic concept was adopted as far as I know about a thousand years ago but before that it was a you know all European cultures were very shamanic as well um, you know Stonehenge is an obvious example and in in you know Scandinavia as far as I've I've heard there's still quite a strong you know there's still uh, quite a strong feel for the um, the older ways of of, uh, of approaching reality and so it's just, I think, with some uh, some people just have a sensitivity to it and, and naturally want to explore it. Um, usually what we have to do is we have to go to other cultures, for, in my example, with native cultures, because they still have a, you know, a, a strong living tradition of this, whereas the in Europe it's been, you know, it, it's been um, oppressed for at least a thousand years. It's just because what I've noticed, um, and of course also with you, is that it seems as if there's something mm, that makes the individual not conditioned to some specific way of thinking, and then they always throw themselves into some sort of art, um, whether it's like you with wood carving or uh, other people with writing or uh, drawing or painting. It's always as if there's something mm -hmm. that naturally drives you as a very young child into these it's an outlet for something inside I think and and I just found it uh, interesting to see that you had almost the same narrative as so many others out there that are doing these things um, it's just uh, it was just to get the, the the parallels in there and then what I noticed that you were uh, mentioning in in your little bio is after you got through that that artist period the first thing that you started throwing yourself into was sort of like adventuring so you're going from some sort of theory into practice could, could you what when did that happen and, and what initiated that well that's a really good point and just to go back a, a little bit if i can um i spent some time on the island of bali in indonesia and their you know their culture is very is a a sect or a, a subculture of, of Hinduism, which is very powerful, and uh, they part of their belief system is that they have to have 
a form of artistic expression. So whether it's in dance or singing or sculpture or jewelry or painting or something, they all have to have that as a as an expression. Uh, I think the anchor that it is is that artistic and you know writing can be part of that as well. But it's something that anchors you or connects you directly with the universal. If you want to say the, um, sorry, there's a, okay. <laughs> um, with the universal consciousness, it's like you can connect directly with, with, uh, with something. In in art, people call it the muse, or they call it the X factor, or something. But it's some, it's a, it's a form of, it's also a form of meditation. Uh, but uh, more fundamentally, in my life, what happened was I went from. Um, learning about native cultures to expressing myself within their artistic um, expression to then going into I believe uh, the natural next step is where you're of service and so rather than just sort of trying to take from the culture in the case the west coast people or after when I moved to Hawaii it was it was a question of, of wanting to learn more but um, the best way to do that was to be of service to the people and so that's how I got involved with uh, building or helping to build a giant voyaging canoe because that was a project for the native people of Hawaii and it was through that that the old uh, the older ladies of the Hawaiian culture taught me much more than you can ever find in books because they saw, you know, that my heart was was into what, you know, what their culture was, and so they naturally, over time, adopted me in, into who they were, um, on a spirit level, not on a, you know, they bypassed looking at, at what I looked like, and they saw. The, my essence and said well you know you can join with us now because you are acting you know along with what we do so it was kind of like a recognition of your spirit or your nature uh, that that got you yes. in, into their midst 